Let me give you guys another example. So let's try and find the limit of this function, of this function, as x and y heads towards the origin. So notice that um, this is very similar to this. So let w be x times y. So this thing here will then become w. This thing here will then become w squared. As x and y heads towards the origin, that's the same as w heading towards zero. Because um, if you look at the domain, uh, let's say this is a, a domain plane. No matter how you approach the um, the uh, the origin, let's say uh, let's say you are currently here. So x is this thing here times the times y. So x times y. So this really, in a way, represents the area of this rectangle. Well, let well as you as you approach the origin, let's say you're currently here. Notice that uh, the area of the rectangle gets smaller and smaller. So, uh, so let's say you're currently here. Notice that the area gets smaller and smaller. So as you approach the origin, the uh, the area w the area becomes smaller and smaller. So it will have the same effect, um, even if you approach the origin in a straight line. Um, x times y will give you this area here, and then as let's say you're currently here, as you approach the origin, the area gets smaller and smaller. No matter how you approach the origin, x times y we will we will get smaller and smaller. The point out that I'm trying to make here is that finding out the limit of this is the same as you trying to find the limit of this. So let's concentrate on finding out the limit of this. As w heads towards the origin, this thing here would be would be one, take away one, this will then become zero, this thing here will then become zero. Zero over zero is an in is an indeterminate form, so we can apply L'Hopital's rule. So applying L'Hopital's rule, differentiate the top, uh, and then differentiate the bottom. That will then give us this. So we are currently here. So hang on. So um, so so we we can see this uh, this negative a half here. So let's drag the negative a half out of the limit. That will then give us this thing here, and then you've got what's left in here. Uh, we've seen this many times in the past. You should know this. So uh, this block here becomes 1. This block here becomes 1. 1 times negative a half, that becomes negative a half. So the limit is negative a half. Okay?